Hi, this is Kim Hendricks with Easier Technologies, and I wanted to give you a quick tech tip on custom objects inside of Vault Professional. It is only available in Vault Professional, so if you're running Vault Basic or Workers, you won't see this option. But it's very powerful, and I wanted to give you just a quick two-minute rundown on how it can be used. So I've created a couple of custom objects. And custom objects can be anything that you want. In my example, it's just that an example. You get to those by Tools, Administration, and Vault Settings, Custom Objects, and then Configure. I have two setups, Contact and Drafting Request. When you create those, you have to create an icon and some permissions, and that's going to be a configuration, but I want to show you how they work. So also when you create a custom object, it puts them down in your button so you can get to them quickly. So if you look at my contacts, I have two, Dave Designer and Kim Hendricks. I have them set with a contact uh, category and a contact lifecycle so that they're released so they don't have problems releasing things that are parents to those. And then I have something called a drafting request. It's a simple assignment. It could be used for sales orders, could be used for um, requests, assignments. Uh, you can use it for just about anything that you want to do. So I'm going to create a new one. And you can see that I have them set up as numbers. I have them set up as names with um, vault data standards, which we'll get into on our next tech tip. We can actually control how these are named, but we can type in whatever we want to right here. We'll call it Tech Tip. I can type Tech Tip Request. Okay, so there's nothing on there, and um, I don't have any properties assigned to it. Uh, once that's created, uh, it's in the wrong category, so I'll have to change it category and make it a drafting request. So now that it's a drafting request, you see that immediately my non-compliance pops up because I have some properties that have to be filled out. So a description and a due date in my world. So I'll edit these properties. And we'll say for demo of And the date is going to be, let's make it due to day 2015. And we'll say OK. It'll update those. And now we're compliant. Now, that's all well and good. You have that information in there, but what can we do with it? So here's what we can do with it. We can assign people to it. Remember, my contacts, we can assign files to it. And then our designers will know what's assigned to them and at what level it's at. So right now, it says it's assigned. It's not really, but let's do that. So let's go to our contacts, and let's make Dave Designer uh, part of that, uh, be assigned to that. So we'll go to Edit. We'll copy. We'll go back to our drafting request. To our tech tip and we'll paste him in here uh, edit paste his link and that puts him in there so he's assigned to that now we can also go in and put him some files so let's go to our demo set and let's say I want him to work on this type box um, and he needs to do some stuff to that so we'll also copy that link go back to our drafting request uh, go to my tech tip we'll paste that as a link also now, links are just that, they're kind of like shortcuts in your window. Uh, it's a quick way to get to them. So now this drafting request is set to assign. We've put a user in there and we've told them what to work on it. We could create properties and all kinds of dialog boxes and make these as fancy as we want to. This is straight out of the box stuff. Now, Dave Designer comes in the next day and he goes to himself and he says, Where use, just like you would on a file. And he can look at his drafting request, and he has two drafting requests assigned to him a demo set edit and a tech tip request. We can go look at those. We can right click and go straight to it and look at that and say, wow, I have this box to work on, and this is the description and the due date, and you can get that done. If you wanted more information on custom objects, feel free to contact us. Hope you've enjoyed this week's tech tip. Thanks.